Hey, buddy. Hello, my name is Zach, and I like to backpack around the world. And this is Ryder, and he likes to do dog activities. Anyways, I just got off work. I worked nine hours today during this whole cycle, I guess. I'm working six days a week. I have Saturdays off for UFC. I'm working around eight to 10 hours a day when I am working. I have about 65 more days until I'm back in Mexico. I am starting to have more definite plans while I'm in Mexico. I am going to be spending about two days in Cancun. I'm not too interested in Cancun, so I don't need to spend a whole lot of time there. And then I'm going to Mexico City for Halloween and Day of the Dead, as well as getting my hair cut again. I am not getting my hair cut until October 30th when I am in Mexico City by Dayana like last time. And I have something planned for that particular video with Dayana. I've already talked to her about it and I think y'all are gonna like what I have in store for that video. So I'm gonna spend around five days in Mexico City and then I am going to Guadalajara and I'll probably be spending an indefinite amount of time in Guadalajara. I love that city and I don't want to get my hopes up so I shouldn't say anything but I've been talking to this girl off Instagram that lives in Guadalajara so maybe that'll work out. If not, I'm still going to spend a lot of time in Guadalajara because like I said I love that town, I love the food there, I love the people there, I love the architecture, I love all that good stuff in Guadalajara so yeah. What are you doing? And I'm wearing my Against the Current shirt. I've seen them three times, I believe. I've seen them in Toronto, New York City. No, I've seen them four times. In Toronto, New York City, Nashville, and Mexico City. So yeah, I should be in Mexico for the rest of 2020. Once I'm in Mexico, I wouldn't mind doing like a week long trip to like El Salvador or Guatemala. Every time I say Guatemala, I'm wanting to say Guadalajara or Belize or Costa Rica, Panama, Nicaragua, Honduras, somewhere in Central America, maybe Peru or Colombia if they allow Americans. Somewhere in that area. I'm probably not gonna go to Asia or Europe. Most likely not. Never say never, but probably not. So anyways, I'm getting pretty hungry. I haven't ate at all today, so I probably should get something to eat. So I'm gonna go to one of my top three favorite fast food places in the United States. My top three in no particular order are Sonic, Arby's, and Chick-fil-A. What are y'all's top three favorite American fast food places. If I lived on the East Coast, I would probably say Shake Shack, In-N-Out. Probably those two. Yeah. But we don't have either of those where I live. So, off to Sonic. Hey, girl. Come on. Come on, buddy.
I really need a new set of keys because, uh, yeah, they've been like this for about, I don't know, six months. Don't put your keys in a dryer because this might be what happens. All right, and there's more I need to show y'all because this car, this 2015 Honey Sonata has been an absolute lemon for me. I've had problems after problems with it. Like the first year that I had this car, my low tire pressure light would come on at least once a month until I said to hell with this, let me get a set of new tires. And that solved that problem. And now around every four to six months, my headlights go out. With my Honey Tucson that I had previously, I think I might have had exchanged my headlights and brake lights once during the whole entire five years that I had that car. I missed that car so much. I rarely had any problems out of the Honey Tucson except for the regular maintenance shit that you had to get done like tires every 40,000 miles or so, uh, brakes, oil change, all that stuff. With this car, man, I've had problems after problems after problems, and they don't stop coming. So, but don't be surprised if my next car is a Hyundai Tucson. That was a really nice car, and I hope all Hyundai Tucsons are built the same so I can have the same luck with my next Honey Tucson as I did my previous one. As for the Honey Sonata, I can't recommend it personally. I'm sure other people have had better luck with it. Keep in mind, I had that Honey Tucson brand new. No miles were on it when I got it. This Honey Sonata had 30,000 miles when I got it. So yeah. Anyways, I'm going to shut up and head to Sonic because you know why? Because I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Also, what would you recommend that I clean the inside of my windshield with? Because I seem to not be able to get these smears off my windshield. I've tried everything from Windex to Armor All to, you know, anything. I don't know what to use now. Maybe I should go to a professional detailer. Maybe they'll be able to solve my problems with all these smears on my windshield. That's probably my best bet. All right, I'm up here at Sonic. I'm ready to do my thing thing. Except I don't really like talking to people, so I'm going to order on the app. I might get in on that deal. Alright, I did not know that the milkshakes at Sonic costed that much. I thought they were cheaper than that for some reason, so never mind on the milkshake. I already have a drink anyways. Even though Sonic has some of the best Coke, I'll deal without to save some money. Anyways, let's go ahead and order this. Place my order and we are good. Here she comes with my food. Eventually. Hello. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? You had a buffalo popcorn chicken? Yes. Alright, thank you. And here you go. Thank you. You have a good night. Thank you. Alright, I have my Sonic now. Let's check it out real quick and dive in.
Oh, ho, 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 ho. that looks beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. I need to shake it up a little bit so more of the buffalo sauce can get over here, over here, over here on top. But other than that, it looks delicious. I approve, Sonic. It looks good. But other than that, it looks delicious. I approve, Sonic. It looks good. We just need to shake it up a little bit. We need to shake it up in this thing, thing. All right, it looks much better now. I have my ranch, I have my coke, do you have a fork, I have a fork, let's dive in, I am hungry, I'm hungry, people that work with me don't think I act like this or talk like this, but yeah, I can actually talk, I just don't particularly like talking to people in the United States. I don't know. I'm weird. Get over it. <laughs> Maybe through these daily vlogs, I'll be more comfortable with talking to people. Even with a car hop that just came, I was kind of talkative to her. I asked her how she was. I'm better than I usually am. All right. Wow. Who made this? Who made this? Whoever made this? Wow. Phenomenal. 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 Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Wow. Just tastes good. I'm not really the best at describing food, but I know it tastes good, and I know it doesn't taste good. These taste amazing. Holy shit. They always do. So I kind of knew that coming in. But. Alright. I'm going to enjoy my food. Thank you for watching this vlog. <coughs> August 23rd's vlog is now complete. If you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. That like button. And if you want to take it a step further. Subscribe and maybe turn on the notification bell while you're at it. And if you want to leave a comment, I would gladly appreciate it. My name is Zach and I do like to backpack around the world. Mm. Man, those are good.